Lei Tinze took down the leader and her compatriot Tan Juni and is now actually in a joint uh, lead. Uh, how do you feel about that? You started from a loss in the first round and now you are co-leading the event. Uh, I think uh, now we started the next part. So for me, I think uh, this game is like a totally brand new star for me. So I won this game. I, I would be very happy, but I would not consider about like uh, joining the leaders or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked like you were just really good in this game. Uh, what do you think went wrong uh, for your opponent? I think uh, when I play bishop d6 and bishop g5. Let's show it. Let's yeah. show it. Uh, okay. Mm. I don't know. Maybe she can also play bishop g2 here. But uh, to be honest, I think her position was very complicated and also um, hard to evaluate. And at this point, I think uh, after bishop d6 and bishop g7, bishop e7, I think she started to think uh, should like uh, take uh, three repetitions. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think uh, if I can make like a quick draw, should be fine for me. Also, I played with black, and later on, she spent almost like a half of time to play f4. So she decided, was, she decided to play on, basically. Yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, a four, to be honest, I don't know. I think uh, maybe it's a mistake because uh, pawn structure looks quite strange for white. Why do you think she decided to play on? So she's already the leader of the event, so she could probably take this draw. So why did she feel the need to play on here? Maybe she thought this position still has a lot of uh, interesting ideas or... But for me, I think my position actually is very safe mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have uh, any, how to say, any for the problems, weakness, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so from now on, actually, you started to outplay her. Everything went really smoothly for you. Just all the moves, very logical, very smooth. So in which moment of the game you actually started to feel that you're winning? Okay, because uh, she was in time trouble and also the position definitely better for me. So I would not think about it to like, I'm gonna win, but I try to make a move to like, um, Pressure. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about some particular moment here. So already f f far in the game, um, you were better, but just pressing, you know, white and uh, here, somehow she started to put all her pieces back, you know. Mm -hmm. So did you see this a little bit crazy <laughs> uh, resource of her taking on F5? Did you calculate this maybe? Yeah. But uh, I didn't take it like seriously. Also, I think maybe I can play queen h six. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, you can play queen h six here. But uh, at least you know white uh, gets this pressure of this f five pound pawn yeah. away. And if you just take it, then the the interesting thing is that uh, white just can continues playing like if nothing happened. Wow. Just rook h one and supporting this pawn, and then let's say if something like this, then maybe just take on b4 and just, you know, just continue playing, but with more chances than in the game. Yeah, I think uh, at that time, we're almost like, you know, crossing the time control. And I think uh, maybe also you can see that she only have a 57 seconds. So I mm. think it's hard for her to make uh, such decision. But you actually saw it, you said. Yeah, I think mm, it is. But just didn't take it seriously. Yeah. yeah. So in this moment, did you already think that you're winning? Um, no, I think uh, still needs to play because um, 
my king is on e7. I try to put some like a safe square, uh, but okay, position obviously she has nothing. Yeah, and then uh, when was this moment when you really realized that you are winning this game and you didn't have any more uh, doubts that you are? I think going after to win? 40 moves and she spent all her time on the 41, and I was uh, quite surprised. I think. Oops. Sorry. Um, so uh, around here, right? So she spent a lot of time on. Yeah, on this and move. I think uh, mm, maybe position was very difficult for her, and um, yeah, I have a lot of plans like uh, h file, sometimes king f six. It's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, and also after that. Basically, everything everything went really smooth for you. You just found this secure spot on f6, right? Yeah. Uh, and let's just show how it all finished. You just came in with all your pieces, and basically, this is just was very very simple. Um, did you expect this game to go so uh, smooth for you? It looks like you really didn't have any problems with black. Um, I tried to play quite fast because, uh, like the first game, I lost to her. I play very slow, and also I think uh, today is uh, uh, her preparation, like, uh, it's okay for me. And also the position, I mean, the structure is also fine for me. So I try to, like, play, like, how to say, confidently, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you do anything special yesterday during the free day that you come so well prepared and full of energy? Oh, yesterday just uh, check some openings and uh, sleep well, and yeah, nothing special. <laughs> One more thing I want to ask you. So before the game, before we started to look at the game, you asked me to flip the sides. So is it really more comfortable for you to look at the game from the side that you played, or? Yeah, um, I mean after the game I prefer to like look at my game with my side but during the game I also like can see the screen and I can see also what can white to do mm -hmm. so it's uh, I think it depends uh, been, um, different just players well do we have any questions yes please um, with this win you you are now tied for first place um, do you think that that decreases or increases the pressure on you? And then one more question. If you just, for, I'm doing an article for American Chess Magazine, Dylan Quersha. Um, if you can give a message to your fans as well. So the first one, if the pressure is now increased or decreased for you now that you're in the lead. Uh, so let's, let's start with this one and then uh, go with the second I one. I think it's just normal. Yeah, nothing like change. And the second question is if you can give some message for your fans. And I say, I say thank you guys, follow the candidates and uh, try to enjoy playing chess. I think you have also a lot of uh, Chinese fans, so maybe you can say something in Chinese for them. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I know that CCs, thank you. Uh, yeah, so that's... you said. Thank you all, and let's, uh, mm, how say, let's fight together. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any more questions for our co leader? Congratulations on a great win. You've won three in a row now and have a reputation for playing very uncompromising and aggressive chess with both colors. Do you think you're going to continue playing very exciting and aggressive chess? Uh, I, I, no. I think it uh, depends on different situation. I quite, I mean, for me right now, I think I'm quite enjoying playing chess. So I think it's, I think it's best a situation for chess player. Okay, one more question. 
Uh, as a woman chess player, um, do you think, uh, like, do you dream one day to play in the open candidates, maybe? Uh, actually, uh, I don't think so far I should focus on this candidate. <laughs> maybe in the future one day? Mm. <laughs> Hard to say. All right, thank you so much, and thank you for your smiles. Congratulations. Yeah.